So here's what I'll say. This is Project 64. <laughs> no, let me start over. Take two, take two. Late brain. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'm up. All right. This is awful N64 games. It's a pack that um, was vetted by uh, Red Jackal and submitted by, we're going to find out in a second. Going to find out in just a second. Where, where did I put these things? Quality N64 games. Um, yeah, I don't know who made this pack. Well, I'm looking through the titles, and I've played a couple of these, but not all of them. So, here we go. Batman Beyond. Yeah. So, there's Superman 64, but there's also Batman Beyond. Warner Brothers didn't have a very good, um, you know, and DC didn't really have a good run. Superhero games on the N64 kind of blew a little bit. This sounds like corrupted music. I played Batman Beyond on, like, the Game Boy a couple weeks ago. The pack is by Mr. Flipnote. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Vinny, didn't you play this? Um, I think I played Batman Beyond on other consoles, but not the N64. Wow, look at that JPEG. We're jokers, pal! This can't be what this game really plays like. No! Is this real? Or is this sped up? This is real? This can't be real. This, this looks like it's sped up. It's the, the frame rates are limited. Chat, I think this is real. You gonna attack me, mate? Vinny, okay, Vinny, I have this on the N64. It runs at the same speed. Are, are we not doing corruptions again? Ah, uh, yes. 15 seconds of music. Oh, this is- this is fucking horrendous. I mean, at least you- when you punch, you make contact with enemies. I wouldn't say it's worse than Superman 64, but this is on a, a similar, like, plane of- of terrible. It's real. Look up gameplay videos. Joel just linked a video that... ...looks exactly this speed. That- I can't believe this game even started a, a debate about its speed. Let's just kill Hulk Hogan over here. I can't believe that this was a big property like Batman. Sure, it's Batman Beyond, but they, they really... They really did not give a fuck about this, did they? Seems like the game should have run at 30 FPS, but some developer didn't cap it properly. 
Wow. No death noise, no death animation, no anything, just restart. really bizarre jump button, which is the R button. There's also no save or password feature in this game. Oh, so this is like a notoriously shitty game. I'm surprised, like, I, in all the years I've been streaming, I haven't come across this. Also, I don't understand the nimble suit. Music completely drowned out by way too loud sound effects. Yeah, yeah this is like perfect AVGN fodder. I'm so sorry to anyone that actually received this as a gift on, like, Christmas or something, if you were a, a child and you, and you had to, like, play with this. I'm so sorry. This is Blues Brothers 2000. Which is another shock. I didn't even know there was a fucking N64 Blues Brothers game, but... Like, I thought I was pretty well versed in N64. Oh, it's Titus. 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 Uh, is Danny Aykroyd in this? Oh yeah, no, I'm aware of this. Yep. Yeah, I'm aware. I've never played it, but I'm aware of it. Oh, this is some really bad MIDI work here. So there I was, sitting on my cell, thinking about Crystal Head Vodka, my future endeavor. Elwood, please find and take care of this boy, Busket. That font was, was really painful. The Battle of the Bands is in less than two days. I've got to get out of here and put the band back together. Is this Banjo-Kazooie? Hey, Elwood, you're supposed to be released today, but the Evil Warden plans on keeping you here. Imagine the guard calling him the Evil Warden. Not all of us like the... Oh, okay. All right, never mind. They like him and not the Warden. I think... Like, Cloud's model in Final Fantasy VII, the original, looks better than this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did, did Dan Aykroyd sign off on this? Well, that was a really, uh, easy escape. I better free him so... Uh, I have a guitarist for the band. Crystal Hearts? Is that where he got the idea? Oh my god. So, yeah, you just, like, come to a complete stop, and your punch animation's really slow and terrible. I mean, it's not the worst N64 game I've played, but, uh, that could change. Let's see. Is that, like, a bottomless pit prison? Oh, dear lord.
literally copied and pasted punch kick combo from Mario 64. Yep. That's yes. They were like, okay, we need to make an N64 game of this property that hasn't that doesn't need to exist again. It, it does not need a new movie or game. We're going to revive this. So what are we going to do? Okay, Mario 64. Let's take that and we'll do a worse job because we're not Nintendo. Punch, punch, kick. Oh, the combat is just putrid. These prisoners look like the prisoners in hard time. You get some real crusty frame rates, too. Yeah, it's just a- it's a 3D platformer like Mario and Banjo with a uh, worse camera and terrible combat and Blues Brothers. <laughs> but- but not even the good parts of the Blues Brothers. Like, you know, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi being fun and good music and Carrie Fisher. No, it's just- it's just terrible. Oh. But again, not the worst game I played tonight, even, on the N64. <laughs> Someone said it's cute. It's a cute 64 platformer. Yeah, no, it's- it's just not, um... It- it's- it's just... You know, it's, it's like, not good. It, it could be cute and not good. Oh, you can see it's grooving now. You get it? So when, when it's grooving, it means it's been activated. What's the worst N64 game you've ever played? Uh... Still probably Superman 64 on, on a number of levels. That, that's, that's a hard one to top. I know it's like the easy answer. It's just that bad. It really is that painful. It's that painful. Bubsy 3D, that was a uh, PS1. There's an N64 version of Bubsy? Yeah, so that's- that's Bubsy, um, on the PlayStation. Other bad N64 games, someone reminded me of Carmageddon. That one's real bad. I've done bad N64 games before, but there's games in this pack that I've never streamed, so... Body Harvest? Dude, Body Harvest is actually... good. Quest 64 is not the worst N64 game, come on. I really liked Body Harvest, I got into that game. It has fucking big problems, but... I don't know, I like it. That was made by, um, the same people that went on to make GTA 3. Quest 64 is pretty awful. I, I have played it briefly. This is... Oh. Oops. Well, the game crashed, uh, so we're good on that. And the reason it crashed is because I accidentally dragged a JPEG into it. Instead of my- <laughs> instead of my capture software. Uh, but yeah, that- that's the cover. I can't currently think of other games I've played on the N64 that are absolutely fucking putrid. But... Here's one you might not like.
I've played this many, 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 many years ago. I don't remember. Speaking of Rockstar. Uh, anyway, here's the game that killed Earthworm Jim. So, yeah, Earthworm Jim is in a battle in his mind because he's he's in a hospital. No, the frame rates are limited, chat. FPS is is this is what it's like. This one's for sure faster than it actually is. And it's a really big one. No? Okay. Let me try something then. Um refresh rate 60 hertz um Nary, are you are you aware of any other settings that I might be able to turn off? I want to see what this game actually looks like. Maybe lower the RAM down to 4. Oh, it is at 4. I can't even go down to 30 refresh rate. It won't let me. Try locking it at 30 FPS. Um, don't know how to. Yeah, I could try Bizhawk. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we'll get a higher degree of accuracy. It's worth it. It's worth a shot. There might be other unforeseen consequences by switching, but who knows. You know, it's, it's worth trying. Uh, is th this this is running too fast too? <laughs> what is going on? This is going even faster. Do these games just like are they not? fuck is going on? Chat, I'm so sorry to uh, delay the stream further, but this is genuinely boggle. This is a boggle. Uncheck fixed audio timing. Second. I don't even know where that is. There's only one ego for this jump, and it's a really big one! Well, in any case, this is Earthworm Jim. Um, did they give him a voice like, uh... My analog is, is reversed. The, the, the problems just keep piling up, chat. It's really... It's, it's, it's astounding, to be honest. Fix now. Config, speed, skip, try the other modes. Speed 100%. 
V-Sync enabled. Do audio throttle. Alright, give, give me one more second, chat. I'll, I'll have this figured out. We're on the right track now. Speed skip. V-Sync throttle. No, speed skip. Clock throttle. Speed skip. Uh, V-Sync enabled. Um, speed 100%. Not. I'm going back to Project 64. And there's a reason. is because the controls here are... I need to do, like, rebinding. And... That is extremely... Annoying. Because I have to, like, troubleshoot and fix the whole goddamn thing. So... Sorry, chat. This every segment has had <laughs> troubleshooting tonight. As I said earlier, you know, Sunday stream troubleshoot problems, blah blah blah. Someone said turn off the 5G. Well, I appreciate your patience. We'll try it one more time, Earthworm Jim. It's gonna run fast. It's gonna run faster than it normally does, but... It's doing the best it can. The worst part of this game is actually its final boss. Why? They, you know, the, he didn't need a voice like Gex. They could have just kept Earthworm Jim silent. He did not have to be like a witty, quippy Earthworm. It's really easy to get stuck on the wall. It's Dan Castellanata? Are you serious? It's Homer Simpson? I mean, this is probably his proudest work. Not. He talked in the original? Okay, so then I'm just being a dick. Well, he just kind of, like, made grunts, didn't he? He just kind of made, like, noises. Chat, I don't understand what what <laughs> He said groovy. Yeah, he hey. said words. Okay, so the, I'm the jerk. Collect the floating object. I I my brain is right now my brain is Earthworm Jim's brain. Happiness is snot. Hey. Yeah, I just want to get the like the gist of the game and then move on. Um, there's other games that I'd like to play tonight. It's a farmyard out there. Oh boy. Down on the sea stick is is a uh, worm whip. Oh boy. Please. 
what, what, like, I don't understand why so many N64 games... ...just did not figure out camera. Oh, I know why. It's one of the first 3D systems. Never mind. Vinny, you mean the C buttons. No, down on the C-stick, because I'm using a controller without C buttons. I'm not playing with this with an N64 controller, so... Yeah, it would be the down C button normally, but... Oh yeah, that's true. The fact that there was no, um, second stick on the N64 and there were just buttons... ...that also led to some pretty scummy camera controls. Um, but yeah, I mean, the default view for Earthworm Jim is to, to just not have you see things that you need to see. That seems to be, um, what this game is good at doing. Oh, there's the frame cross that I've been looking for. It's a shame, too. I was looking forward to this game. Because I liked Earthworm Jim. I rented it a lot, both games. And then I read that this one was fucking bad. And I was like, alright, well, I guess I'm done with Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim was like, like, um, Penguin of Doom, also random. Before that was a thing. Just so you know. Is the camera the only bad thing about it? Um, so far, it, it's kind of hard to say. The camera's pretty fucking atrocious, and, it, and you have to fight against it. I'd say... Apparently, chat knows what's uh, wrong with this game. I can't really tell you from just this short amount of time. The boss battles are the worst part of this game. Yeah, sadly, I'd, I'd have to give this a deep dive if that's the case, because this is just too... ...basic. It's fine, so far. You shoot, you jump, you do some platforming. Could be worse. Okay, well... well it's a lot of... Jumping over Donkey Kong barrels, kind of. Eggs. Someone said Earthworm Jim doesn't work well as a collectathon. Its strengths were in the surrealism, which doesn't translate as well to 3D. Not just to 3D, but like N64 3D. The next sub area gets a lot worse. Yeah, there's people in chat that seem to know this game pretty well. I, I don't completely hate it. I remember having played it for like a corruption stream or like a like just to check it out years ago. But I don't remember it. The music's okay. ECW Hardcore Revolution? One day I'm gonna have to see what those boss battles are like, because now I'm really fucking curious. I want to know why people are saying the boss battles are terrible. But, hey. Here's a game from Acclaim. Who actually published some really great games. Oh, they didn't fully cut out the green screen. Extreme! Awesome. Axel Rotten. Balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. Who are these people? Are these real wrestlers?
T. DeVito. Oh, I think I remember this. This was corrupted. These are all real wrestlers. Okay, we gotta do balls versus... I seem to remember T. DeVito. Like, so I think I've played this, uh, a corrupted version of this. There's a chair here with your name all over it. Ooh. Prepare yourself for all out war. I played the Dreamcast version. Thank you, chat memory. Oh, how, and how exciting. Against the rope. They didn't really have much of a budget, did they? I mean, music would help at least, I think. Just like, just a Tony little bit of music. Just like one guy shouting out from the crowd. <laughs> uh. Into the rope! Tony DeVito is my Good. main man! Tony DeVito is uh. my main man. <laughs> oh, we just went through each other. Tony DeVito, perfectly executed one arm slam. He's out on his feet. The only thing that I found effective is just kicking this dude in the balls. That's it. That's the only move that works. Everything else is either laggy or you go through the person or the hitboxes are fucked up. That's why this guy's named Balls. That's his specialty. I can't believe that this is real. Oh, I love those noises! John Romero's Daikatana is next. I think we're gonna have to do a part two to this. We're definitely gonna have to do a part two to this, and that's technical problems, and uh, just I started late, but this was a famous game. I think um, there's a what happened on, on Daikatana if you're really interested in the history of this thing. But this was like, if you didn't grow up in this era, John Romero was famous for, you know, other first person shooters. And so there was a lot of hype for this game. It was built up, delayed, hyped, came out. It's just kind of lame. Also, the advertisements for this game included John Romero's gonna make you his bitch. So... That's, um... You know, it's one thing to go through some bad development hell. It's another thing to advertise the game like that, and then have it be so disappointing. Suck it down was another one, another quote. This this cutscene is six minutes long. So it's as overindulgent as the rest of this game is then. Oh, that was the same ad. He doesn't know?
So not only do you have Daikatana, which is already a disappointment, then you have the N64 version. Oh, it's got Torok controls. The right stick moves forward, side to side, backward. Left stick looks around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. By the way, chat, it's by default inverted controls. Oh, this is a tough, this is a tough game to play. There's, there's gotta be another control option. Oh no, there's not. Oh no, there's not. Doesn't quite have the same impact as something like a quake or a doom, does it? Not right away, at least. slow, too. It's like... If John Romero's gonna make you his bitch, you'd expect at least some, like, fast combat. This, um... God, even Torok is faster than this. Torok is, is uh, actually quite a bit faster than this. But again, um, it's functional enough. I'd have to really get used to the controls. I was able to play Torok fine on the N64. This I have... Playing this with reverse control sticks is, is fucking weird. All these years later. But yeah, this had, um, this had some pretty bad development hell. Um, uh, again, the story's been covered way better than I could cover it in five minutes, but... Here's what I can tell you, I've never played this, I've seen videos, I know the whole game's story, it's a famous... ...story of development hell and, you know, disappointment. Um, it's... just playing it like this, it's, it's like... ...it's okay. It's functional enough for an N64 shooter. I don't know, like, I couldn't tell you, based on this little amount of gameplay, what makes this, um... ...what makes this bad. Oh, there's a run button. Okay, well that helps a little bit. I mean, it's not exciting, and it's... Yeah, all that stuff, but, um, I, I just don't... Hmm. Yeah, games with no music. Fun. Chat had to tell me how to crouch. It's R plus A. Marines? Yeah, that was, um, I didn't play it, but that was a, uh, yeah, a bug game, like Starship Troopers, made by the Turok people. It was an N64 game. I, I remember wanting to pick that up, but I didn't have the money for it. Oh! I think I forgot to pick up a weapon. Boy, this is certainly exciting. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, listen, Sunday stream, I will never have the benefit of being able to really do a deep dive into what makes a game terrible. I can only ever really tell you, like, okay, on the surface, this game immediately feels like shit. And if I had more time, I'd be able to play that for a little bit longer, but I, I don't think anyone really cares. Polaris Snowcross, made by Factor 5, who... I think this is made by Factor 5, who actually made um, Rogue Squadron and Rogue Leader, speaking of. And that, that's the good games. Um... Well... I tell you, um, the visuals are pretty good for N64. Uh, the frame rates are a little scummy. But the, the fucking pop-in, the fade-in, is, is really drastic. Uh. Boy. I'm just having the time of my life here. I think maybe they prioritized resolution over frame rates. But I'll tell you what, play Wave Race 64 instead. I'm like, I'm like sleeping. It's good that this is the last game of the segment because I'm, I'm going to sleep. Again, you know, I have the mute, like the sound effects and the music are supposed to be a little louder. It's a new track Is it? Oh. oh. Are there any game mechanics? Do I just hold the button and go? Or like, do I? Are there tricks? Do, do I shoot? Well, it's trying to do the wave race thing. You can, um, you can pull back on the, on the snowmobile, uh, the music sounds like one set of, like, chords, and then it just loops, and then, and then we're done, and then we go to sleep, and then we, we take a nap, we take our quaaludes, and then we wake up from that, and we realize that we actually didn't do any of that, but we were playing Polaris Snowcross the whole time. It was the most exciting thing that happened this entire game. All one track. Yeah, I mean, again, chat. I know that there's a disadvantage to the way I play bad games. I don't- I don't play the whole games. I mean, fucking AV, AVGN plays m through most of the games if he can. He usually ends up finishing them. Um... In my case, that's just not something I'm down to do, especially if I don't have... You know, if I'm doing three segments a night, so there's an inherent flaw. But first impressions are important. And you can learn a lot about a game in the first five minutes. <laughs> you really can. You can tell if you're going to want to play this game for more than another ten minutes. So, I think, um... This, this is a functional game. It's pretty fucking boring, though. Vinny, this game apparently cheats. What do you mean it cheats? Bad rubber banding? Someone said this is easily one of the games ever made. Vinny, watch the Ross's Game Dungeon episode on this game. There's some fascinating things about the AI and soundtrack on the PC version. Can you tweet that to me, chat member? I really would like to watch that. I'm done. I don't want to play any more uh, bad N64 games right now, and I want to go to bed. It's late. Thanks for watching. Um, the Batman game was, was, was really bad. 
that was that and the ECW Hardcore Revolution were the two worst games of the night. Uh, pretty pretty easily. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games for next time. I might add one or two um, to that collection. But next time I'll try to actually spend more than 45 minutes playing in 64 games. That way we can spend a little bit more time on each and we get to see the strengths and weaknesses. Mostly just the weaknesses and uh, some of the worst games in the collection on the library. N64 gets some shit, and there's some crust on this console, but I've been caught defending it semi-impassioned because I don't want people to think it was just tr shitty draw distances and terrible games and bad camera. N64 has a couple of my favorite games ever made, but it's also got Superman 64, and that's a problem. Vinny. By the way, the real-life wrestler named Balls from ECW was a Satanist and died in 2016 from a heart attack. Well, well that's just sad. I guess. Well, what a good way to end the N64 segment. Thank you, chat member. That's, um, that's a hell of a thing. Uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the art now. Thank you for your patience tonight. I know this was Tech Problem Central. Um, you know, we'll do more corruption soon. We'll do more N64 games. We'll do eventually more VR, but I also have other part twos I'd like to do, and I have some more weird games I'd like to show you for next Sunday. So, um, thank you for your patience.